ESPN, Beijing. For more on the joint efforts to explore the universe, we bring in Professor Yang Yu Guang from the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. He also works as vice chair of the Space Transportation Committee at the Chinese International Astronautical Federation. Professor, thank you so much for joining us. Well, Professor, Hello. explain how China is cooperating with other countries in space. Are we talking about sharing information and data or conducting joint experiments? If you can, give us some examples. Well, uh, as your colleagues uh, have reported, uh, that China is now uh, cooperating with China, other countries in uh, space science. In fact, the first uh, space science uh, satellite of China is a cooperation with Europe, which is called the Double Star uh, Program, uh, about, uh, about one or two decades before. Uh, so it is the first uh, uh, project in space of China in exploring the uh, environment outside the Earth, in the, uh, such as the magnetic field and the radiation uh, near the Earth. So this is a good start. And also uh, in the main programs, uh, like the China Space Station, and also in the lunar exploration and the Mars exploration, they do also have very close relationship with Europe, with Russia, and other countries. You see the European countries, the ESA, prov uh, provide the telemetry support for China's manned space program and the lunar exploration program. And also, uh, it is very exciting, just in recent days, the Zhurong rover, uh, which is China's the only rover on the Martian surface, also tests the, uh, trans uh, transmitting the data uh, to the European orbiters and then transmitting that to the Earth. So this is also a very good cooperation with other countries. Well, we know that every country has its own missions and its own goals in space. So what are the benefits of uh, collaborating? Are there any downsides at all? Uh, well, you know that the uh, space exploration, including the uh, space science, manned space programs, and the deep space missions, are uh, in a lot of uh, budget. Uh, so usually it is very difficult for the decision makers to choose these kind of programs. To so have an international cooperation uh, which can uh, greatly, uh, greatly reduce the uh, threshold uh, for these kind of projects and the, uh, and the uh, budget can be paid for from different countries. So it's much easier and make it easier to realize these kind of programs. This is one aspect. The other is aspect is that you know that uh, they do not have direct returns uh, from these kind of uh, programs usually. So uh, these programs are benefit the uh, the whole uh, the whole world of the uh, the whole human being. So uh, it has already become an inevitable trend, in my opinion, to have international cooperation in this kind of uh, scientific research. And we have about a minute left, but if you can bring us up to date uh, with what's happening on China's space station and the construction of that, there are three Taikonauts up there as we speak. Yes, uh, uh, the Shenzhou 13 crew has just uh, performed the first EVA on China's space station, and also uh, in the coming months, it will also uh, test the technologies for the transportation, uh, which means that the Tianzhou 2 uh, cargo ship is just on the front of the docking port, and it will be trans uh, transpositioned from the docking, uh, from docking port to the side bursting port. This will be a very critical step to test the necessary technologies for the uh, construction of the China space station in the coming year. Uh, so the Shenzhou 13 crew also will test the other technologies such as the long-term duration in space, uh, especially the environment control and the life support system for half a year, So, which is also very necessary for the uh, construction and also operation of China Space Station. And the, uh, we have already mentioned about the space cooperation. The experiments will be, from other countries will, will also brought to station in the coming years. All right, Professor Yang, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Always great to see you. You're welcome. Ahead of the 